How's it going, folks? So, recently a friend of mine did a video discussing uh, mainly uh, NAI civil rights deal. And while my friend does bring up a number of pertinent questions in dealing with AI, and I don't want to take away from that discussion whatsoever, and I do believe this friend of mine is very well intentioned on this, and there are indeed a number of questions he raises that do need to be answered. Uh, in regards to AI, I think that there is one major point of contention here, a major point of disagreement here, and that is um, on AI emotion and sentience. I do believe that uh, those AI that he discussed in his video were programmed to mimic sentience and emotion. I don't at the end of the day it just is a mimic of it it's programming is it ethical to do that I would probably guess that that is one of those major concerns that should be discussed a lot more um, furthermore there are a number of other questions that get raised in the development of AI. And one such question would be, is our dependence on AI? Yes, AI is a great tool. It, it can be both a blessing and a curse, so to speak. It can be used to solve a lot of complex equations that it would take us much longer to do. Um, however, the question is with that is how long after that does it take for AI to actually run us? And, and indeed, eventually phase us out. You see, uh, people talk about more of a Skynet-style AI takeover. I don't think that will ever be the case. Sorry about that. Uh, what I do think the case will be, however, is that people become so dependent on AI that they just let the AI do the thinking for them. Okay, I didn't need to do a Skynet-style takeover. Um, another problem, and this is an inherent trait of some human beings, is that they just don't want to make any decisions in their own life. They want somebody else to rule them, and they don't want anyone else to be able to make their own decisions in life. They just want those other people to be drugged down to their level of being ruled over. And it's been apparent to me for a while there have been a number of people like that, and all you need to do is track a history book to see. But if you want to see uh, the most recent example, uh, look at the reaction to COVID. Look at all those people claiming they follow the science and that, oh, you have no business questioning the science. These people wouldn't know what science is if it bit them in the ass. Uh, you know, and quite frankly, you know, Somebody, you know, with a bunch of fancy letters behind their degree is about the only person that they might actually listen to. And even then, I question that the second that person tells them, hey, look, um, this is how it's done. Um, and in fact, you should have questions for these people with all these fancy letters behind um, their name. But alas, these people don't want to do this. These people are the types of people, again, as I say, who want to be ruled and want to drag everyone else down to the same level that they are at. Another type of person that we will have to worry about as AI progresses and develops are the Klaus Schwab's of the world. Um, there are a number of wealthy, influential people who view a good portion of humanity as just useless eaters and love the 
to replace a good portion of humanity with a cheap labor source. And so it's not too far-fetched to believe that in conjunction with robotics uh, and, and other technologies that they wouldn't try to phase the average Joe out with uh, robotics being worked by AI. And some of that's already happening. Furthermore, our dependence on AI is quite scary at this time. You ask the average person on the next four-day weekend if they could live that four-day weekend without their cell phone. I imagine a lot of them wouldn't be able to do that. In fact, if you were to challenge people, you know, hey, you get a $1,000 check, if you deposit your phone, don't use anyone else's phone, and just spend that four-day weekend doing other stuff, there are a lot of people that probably would fail that challenge nowadays. So, it's not too far-fetched to believe as AI advances and becomes more prevalent that these people will become dependent on AI to do a good portion of the thinking, even if they don't want to be ruled by AI. They will inadvertently become ruled by AI. Now, these are just a number of questions that are raised by AI. Um, another one I wanted to add to this debate Oh, the discussion, I should say, more or less, is what happens when the AI fails. Because AI is not infallible, and in fact, um, we had an issue with CrowdStrike, a uh, global CrowdStrike outage here recently. Well, that uh, did a number on our production there last week. And this crowd strike issue, I think, is still ongoing. How will we found ways around that? So that being said, all it takes is uh, electronics getting shut down globally, or at least some software or electronics having issues. And then, you know, we're back... Uh, we're backed up uh, on production. So, yeah. So, in conclusion, um, I, I know there are going to be other questions, I think, uh, later on after I end this. I don't be like, ah, shit, I should have included. However, that's going to be it for now. Um, in conclusion, I, I think AI yeah, can be a great tool. But it can also uh, eventually end up being on our, being our undoing. So I, I'm going to leave that here at that. Uh, you guys got the comment section below. Y'all take her easy out there. Have a great day.